ever pause to consider the extraordinary existence of the humble bee? Today, we're going to delve into the intricate world of these buzzing creatures, specifically, their life cycle. When we think of bees, we often envision them as tiny architects, crafting intricate honeycombs, or as tireless gatherers, darting from flower to flower. But there is more to bees than meets the eye. You see, bees are critical to our ecosystem, playing an irreplaceable role in pollination. They're like the planet's little gardeners, aiding the growth of trees, flowers, and other plants which serve as food and shelter for creatures large and small. Bees are responsible for pollinating approximately one-sixth of the flowering plant species worldwide and approximately 400 different agricultural types of plant. So, without bees, our global food production would take a severe hit. Now let's talk about their unique social structure. A bee colony operates as a single unit, buzzing with cooperation and shared responsibility. There are three types of bees in every colony. The queen, the worker bees, and the drones. Each type of bee has a distinct role and purpose within the hive. First there's the queen bee, the mother of the colony. She's the only sexually mature female in the hive and her primary role is to lay eggs. Then we have the worker bees, which are all female. They do just about everything, from cleaning the hive, taking care of the young, to collecting pollen and nectar. Lastly we have the drones, the only males in the hive. Their sole purpose is to mate with a new queen, ensuring the survival of the colony. So there you have it. A brief introduction to the life cycle of bees, and the crucial roles they play in our ecosystem. And remember, each bee, whether a queen, a worker, or a drone, contributes to the survival and success of the entire colony. So, next time you see a bee buzzing by, remember, it's a part of a complex and fascinating world within a hive. In the realm of the hive, one figure reigns supreme, the queen bee. This regal figure is not just a title holder, she is the heart and soul of the bee community, the one upon whom the future of the hive depends. The life of a queen bee is a fascinating journey. It begins when she emerges from her special cell, larger and more distinct than the others, known as the queen cell. This birth is nothing short of a royal event, as the queen bee is the only one in her hive capable of laying eggs. She is born with a singular purpose, to ensure the survival and growth of her colony. From the moment of her emergence, the queen bee embarks on an extraordinary life unlike any other in the hive. She is nurtured and cared for by worker bees who attend to her every need. Her diet, unlike the honey and pollen consumed by the rest of the hive, consists of royal jelly, a substance rich in proteins and vitamins, produced by the worker bees. This special diet allows the queen bee to develop the ability to lay eggs, up to a staggering 2,000 a day during peak season. The queen bee's lifespan is a marvel in itself. While worker bees live for only a few weeks, the queen bee can live up to five years. During this time she is responsible for the entire hive. Her pheromones, unique chemical signals, regulate the hive's activities and maintain harmony among its inhabitants. But the queen bee's reign is not a life of leisure, it is a life of service, duty and sacrifice. Her sole purpose is to lay eggs, to ensure the continuity of the hive. This relentless cycle of egg laying is her contribution, her legacy. The queen bee truly is a testament to nature's remarkable ways. Her life, from her royal birth to her tireless work in laying eggs, is a powerful demonstration of the intricate beauty and complexity of the natural world. She reigns not for power or glory but for the survival and prosperity of her hive. In the hive society, the worker bees are the backbone carrying out every task that keeps the hive functioning. These industrious insects are all female and, despite their name, they're far from just laborers. Worker bees lead intricate lives, transitioning through various roles as they age, each as vital as the last. Their journey begins as soon as they hatch from their cells. For the first three weeks of life, worker bees serve as house bees. Their duties are primarily within the hive, and they start by cleaning out the cells for the next generation of bees. Soon after, they graduate to feeding the larvae. This task is of utmost importance, as the future of the hive rests on the well-being of these young bees. Around the same time, worker bees take on the role of attending to the queen, ensuring she's well-fed and grooming her. They also produce beeswax, build and repair honeycombs, and guard the hive entrance, showing off their multifaceted abilities. As they reach the third week of life they transition to being field bees. Now, their work takes them outside the hive. They forage for nectar, pollen, water, and propolis, a resin-like substance used in hive construction. This task isn't just about gathering resources, 
but also about spreading pollen from flower to flower, playing a crucial part in our ecosystem's pollination process. Their time as foragers usually lasts until their death, which typically happens around the sixth week of life. Their lives may seem short when compared to ours, but in the bee world, they live to a ripe old age, having accomplished an impressive array of tasks. In the grand scheme of things, worker bees are the gears that keep the hive machine running smoothly. Each bee in her own small way contributes to the hive's overall health and success. From nursing the young to foraging for the hive's sustenance, they truly are the embodiment of teamwork and dedication. The worker bees with their ceaseless activity keep the hive buzzing. The drones, despite being few, play a crucial role in the hive. These are the male bees, a minority in the bustling bee society. Their life, though short, is one of purpose and dedication. Unlike their industrious sisters, the worker bees, drones do not collect pollen or nectar, nor do they have the responsibility of keeping the hive clean. Their sole purpose? To mate with the queen. This singular responsibility is so crucial that the future of the entire colony rests upon it. Born from unfertilized eggs, the drones begin their lives as tiny larvae, nurtured by the worker bees. As they mature into full-grown bees, their large bodies and rounded shape distinguish them from the rest of the hive. Their eyes, twice the size of those of a worker bee, are designed to spot the queen during the mating flight. The mating flight, a dramatic and crucial event, is the pinnacle of a drone's life. After this, their destiny is sealed. Once the drones have fulfilled their purpose, they are no longer needed within the hive. As the colder months approach, resources become scarce. The drones unable to collect food or contribute to the hive's upkeep are expelled, left to face the elements on their own. The drones, living a life of purpose and sacrifice, complete the hive's society. Their destiny, though harsh, is a testament to the intricate and delicate balance of life within a bee colony. From egg to bee, the life cycle of these fascinating creatures is a tale of growth, change, and renewal. The hive is a buzzing hub of activity, a microcosm of nature's intricate design, where each bee plays a pivotal role. Let's revisit the stages of the bee life cycle. The egg, the larva, the pupa, and the adult bee. Each phase a stepping stone in the creation of a fully formed bee. The life of a bee begins as an egg, a tiny speck laid by the queen in the heart of the hive. In just three short days, these eggs hatch into larvae. These are the infant bees, helpless and fragile, entirely dependent on the worker bees for sustenance. As days pass, these larvae undergo a transformation. They molt and become pupae, encapsulated in a protective cocoon, a sanctuary where they metamorphose. Inside this safe haven, the pupae gradually develop into full-fledged bees, their bodies taking on the distinct shape and form of a worker, a drone, or a queen. Emerging as an adult bee, they are ready to take on their roles in the hive. The worker bees buzz around tirelessly, gathering nectar, feeding the larvae, and protecting the hive. The drones, with their sole purpose of mating with the queen, live a life of leisure until their moment arrives. The queen, the mother of all bees, reigns supreme, laying thousands of eggs to ensure the continuity of the hive. The hive is a self-sustaining entity, a testament to nature's efficiency. Each bee contributes to the hive's survival, their roles interlaced in a beautiful dance of cooperation and shared responsibility. The queen lays the eggs, the workers nurture the young, and the drones ensure the hive's genetic diversity. Together they create a cycle of life that is both complex and beautifully simple. This is the life cycle of bees, a cycle that is repeated over and over from generation to generation. It's a cycle that is intrinsic to the survival of not just the hive but our entire ecosystem. Bees pollinate our flowers, our crops, playing an indispensable role in the world's food supply. And so, the life cycle of bees continues, a testament to nature's beautiful unending cycle of life. It's a cycle that's been occurring for millions of years, a cycle that we as humans depend on for our very survival. The bees' world is one of perpetual renewal, a world that mirrors the ceaseless ebb and flow of life itself.